And this is how you make a bowl. As you know, we start out with the free form shape of clay. You are going to go ahead and place it right in the middle of your bat. Secure it in place all around. As you can see, it is not centered. It's very bumpy. So I'm dipping my hands in water. I'm also squeezing some water on my form. And I'm focusing on the heel of my palm. With my left hand, I am pushing, and I pushed a little too hard. That's because there was no water at the bottom. That's okay. You can go ahead and pick up where you left off, keeping control, pressing down with my right hand, anchoring my left palm, pushing with my left hand forward, pressing with my right hand down. You could see that the free forms are beginning to blend into themselves. Here I am coning up and now centering down. Right palm is pressing, pressing, pressing. Left palm is on the side of my form. And okay, my piece is centered. Your next step is to go ahead and open. So you're going to use your two thumbs, just like I am, and press down. Don't go all the way through. Remember, we need to leave enough of a base. So here I'm going to measure with my needle tool. Perfect. Now I know that I can open and widen my opening starting from that base. Here's another angle so that you can see what I am doing with my fingers. The tip of my, th my thumbs are creating the floor and the side of my thumbs are creating the wall. So now I am leveling out my rim and I'm creating a donut. All right, now I am ready to pull my walls. As you can see, my left fingertips and my right fingertips are going to be what we use to pull our walls. So look at their position, and I'm going to pull and stretch upward. Now, because I'm making a bowl, I'm going to curve out like that. It helps when you visualize what you're creating because your hands will follow. So here I've slowed my wheel down, allow a full rotation before you pull up. Right fingertips are on the outside, left fingertips are on the inside. You are stretching layer by layer. Right fingertips are starting right out there, swooping under. Left fingertips are on the outside, I mean, I'm sorry, on the inside. So you're going to do this over and over again. Really pay attention to what your form feels like. How does it feel? Where do you need to emphasize more? There you go, continue to pull. I've got plenty of clay there, so I'm going to continue to stretch and pull up my walls. Be consistent. Slow your wheel down if you need to, if you need better control. Continue swooping under with your right fingertips, really trying to get that 
curve of your bowl as your left fingertips are pressing down and out. Okay, here I'm checking the thickness of my walls. And I've got a nice bowl shape. Decided to curve it in a little bit more. So as you can see, I'm guiding the shape of my form with the direction that my hands are moving. My left palm is pressing down and out and my right fingertips are on the outside for support, but then they go ahead and they lean in a little bit more towards the top to curve it. Okay, now you'll end up with a lot of slip or slippy water in the center of your bowl. And that's okay when you're pulling, but you do not want to keep too much water in the middle because it will soften your base. So you want to go ahead and absorb that liquid. Now there you could see where my finger, how my finger created that nice indention down there. And I'm using my fingertips to pull. There you go. Have fun.